Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what frontal lobe epilepsy is, what causes frontal lobe epilepsy, what the frontal lobe does, its substructures, diagnosis, symptoms, risk, and treatment options. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. According to Mayo Clinic, frontal lobe epilepsy is a common form of epilepsy in which seizure activity starts in the frontal lobe. Individuals with frontal lobe epilepsy may experience focal and bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. Frontal lobe epilepsy can develop due to the following. Developmental lesions. Examples are cortical dysplasias, which the top layer of the brain does not form properly, heratomas or abnormal cells, tissues, and nodular heratopias, which is brain malformation. Tumors. Common tumors include gangliogliomas, which are low-grade mixed cell tumors, low-grade glomas, and epidermoid tumors. Head trauma. Traumatic brain injury resulting in damage to the frontal lobes increases the chance of someone developing frontal lobe epilepsy. Seizure activity can occur within months of the trauma, but some may not start for years. Vascular malformation. Arteriovenous malformations, which are tangled blood vessels causing irregular connections between the arteries and veins. Carvinerous angioma, which are large adjacent capillaries with little or no intervening brain blood flow is slow. And venous angiomas, which are irregular arrangements of small veins. They look like spokes of a wheel. Gliosis is a development of larger GL cells resulting in the development of scarring in the brain. Encephalitis is inflammation of active tissues in the brain caused by an infection or autoimmune response. Inherited frontal lobe epilepsy is autosomal dominant sleep related hypermotor epilepsy, which is causing brief nocturnal motor seizures and occurs in clusters during non-REM sleep. Functions of the frontal lobe include executive processes, voluntary behavior, problem solving, voluntary motor control, intelligence, language processing, language comprehension, self-control, and emotional control. Substructures of the frontal lobe. Premotor cortex, associated with planning and executing motor movements. The premotor cortex is important for imitation learning through the use of mirror neurons, which allow for us to reflect body language, facial expressions, and emotions of others. The premotor cortex supports cognitive functions such as showing empathy. Motor cortex, critical for initiating motor movements as well as coordinating motor movements. Prefrontal cortex, is responsible for high brain functions, including decision-making, problem-solving, intelligence, and emotion regulation. It is associated with social skills and personality. Broca's area is associated with the production of speech, written language, processing, and comprehending language. The following tests are conducted to diagnose frontal lobe epilepsy, MRI, can help physicians see tumors, lesions, or other complications that can be causing seizures. Electroencephalography can help detect seizure activity in the brain and where it is located. Stereo electroencephalography is a surgical procedure implanting electrodes in the brain. Goal is to detect seizure activity deep in the brain that an EEG may not detect. Video EEG records movements and behavior alongside brain activity. According to Cleveland Clinic, the following symptoms are associated with frontal lobe epilepsy. Abnormal behavior such as screaming, swearing, or laughing. 
head or eyes turning to one side, leg movements such as kicking or pedaling, pelvic thrusting, sleepwalking, thrashing, twitching or jerking, and urinary incontinence. The following complications are associated with frontal lobe epilepsy. Status epileptus. Frontal lobe seizures can provoke status epileptus, requiring emergency medical attention. If a seizure lasts more than five minutes, call for medical help. Injury. Motions that occur during frontal lobe seizures can result in injury. Sudden unexplained death in epilepsy or SUDEP. People who have seizures have a higher risk of dying unexpectedly. Factors include heart or breathing problems, which can be related to genetic abnormalities. Depression and anxiety. People with epilepsy are at higher risk for developing anxiety and depression. Children with frontal lobe epilepsy are at higher risk for developing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Anticonvulsant medications, either used as monotherapy or in combination, are prescribed to control seizure activity. Anticonvulsant medications used for frontal lobe epilepsy are phenytoin, carbamazepine, valproic acid, gabapentin, lamotrigine, topriamate, levetiracetam, sunisamide, oxcarbazepine, pregabalin, leucosamide, coblasm, Eslicarbazepine, Vivacetam. For patients with refractory epilepsy, surgery may be an option. Other options include dietary therapy, which is ketogenic diet or modified Atkins diet, vagus nerve stimulation, or responsive neurostimulation. In conclusion, according to Mayo Clinic, Frontal lobe epilepsy is a common form of epilepsy in which seizure activity starts in the frontal lobe. Individuals with frontal lobe epilepsy may experience focal and bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. Frontal lobe functions include executive processes, voluntary behavior, problem solving, voluntary motor control, intelligence, language processing, language comprehension, self-control, and emotional control. There are four substructures that make up the frontal lobe. Tests such as an MRI, EEG, SEEG, and video EEG can help to diagnose frontal lobe epilepsy. There are many symptoms one can experience when having frontal lobe epilepsy. Risk include status epileptus, injury, SUDEP, anxiety, and depression. Anticonvulsive medications are used to treat frontal lobe epilepsy. For individuals with refractory epilepsy, surgery, dietary therapy, VNS, or RNS treatment can be an option. To learn more about frontal lobe epilepsy, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.